You might have different users around the world from different countries and different languages, and you might want to show them different content based on their preferred language or region. Internationalization in Next.js can help you to achieve that. Users usually set their preferred language setting in the browser, for example, here in the settings of the Chrome. You can head into languages and you see my preferred language, for instance, is EN from United States and then Persian and then English without any specific region. And this information is going to be used to send to the server on every request that I make. For example, if I refresh the page here and if I select one of these requests, on the request headers, you see a header called accept language and it consists of some comma separated values like EN US, EN FA, well, with some weights, which is identified as Q. And this way we can send our preferred language to the server so they can decide if they support that language, they will deliver that content or that translations to me. This video will explain how we can achieve that and how we can implement it in Next.js. So stay with me. The content that I have created for this website by default is English because I have hard coded those values here, as you can see, what if I want to have different locales and different languages so users can select one of them? I want to go with EN for English and FR for French, so users can switch between these two languages. It doesn't matter if they have other preferences, for example, they can have Arabic local installed in their system, but since we don't have it, we fall back into another language that they might desire, for example, English maybe. And to do so, what we usually do is to modify the routes a little to have the local or the language in the URL. Usually you might have seen these kind of URLs that start with a language code like EN or FR, then the rest of the URL exists. We want to ex implement that and to, to have that, what we have to do, we have to make a dynamic route here. If you are not familiar with the dynamic route, you can go back in the discourse and find the dynamic routes video and watch that. But in general, the idea behind it is to have routes that are not hard coded or can be changed based on the user's input. I will make a folder with, for having dynamic routes. I call it lang i put the lang folder name into break brackets so i can receive different languages in this round and i'm going to move the page to that folder so from now on if the users want to see my home page they have to send the language as well so in this page i'm going to receive that language and by adding a parameter called params and its type is like this params then language the lang comes from this folder's name but starting from next 15 we have to wrap it with promise like this, then I'm going to have the language code on my page. Let's grab it. const lang is a bit prompts dot lang. And you might see this warning from one of my extensions and it's, it's saying that it's better to wrap the prompts type with read only. Now I have this language code. Now I can show different content based on language. I go with the worst scenario, like having if a statement and showing different contents conditionally, which is not a good idea, but let's go with that for the sake of the demo. I choose this set text, home page, and now I decide if the language is in home, otherwise go with another value. Let me go to the home page now. If I refresh, I'm not sure if the project is running. Yeah, if I go to in, you can see the home here based on the language code that I've received in, on the page. And if I go to some, some other URL like this, I see the other text here. And I can go with this solution for other text, which is not recommended because uh, there are some downfalls. For example, as you can see, users can send any value that we have. And if you have more than one language or two languages, you must write a lot of if conditions or nested conditions or switch cases, which is not good. In this case, what we usually do, we generate some sort of translation files and, and we consume them. Let's do so. If I go to SRC, I create a folder called locales like this. Then I create some files with JSON extension, like en.json and another maybe for fr for french.json like this. So the content of these JSON files can consists of all the translations or text that I might have on my page. And it's up to you how you want to structure it. For my case, I, I'm going to have, for example, the home page. Then it has a con title or description like this. And I will copy that for French. I will do the same home page. And thanks to Copilot, it fulfilled for me. I hope the translations are correct. Now I have the translation, I have to consume them on my page. What I can do, I have to import it. So let me go up and here I will import them, 
import en locale from en and the other for, for fr. And now I have those JSON files. What I can do, I can consume them here instead of hard coding the text. So let's do so in the locale, the home page, then title. And in this case, I can go with fr locale dot home page dot title. It's, and it will work as before. Let me refresh and see. If I go to en, you can see it's working. If I go to fr, it's not working because I have imported a wrong file like this. So now it's fixed. And I'm on fr or whatever else. Doesn't matter because I, I'm conditionally saying that if it's not English, go with fr, which is not logically correct. But still, nothing has been changed. Still, I have the problem of hard coding a lot of conditions here. I'm going to change the source code and refactor it a little. So I might have a function that receives the key of the translation I'm, I, I want and it receives the language. Then that function is going to return back the translation from one of these files accordingly. So I'm going to create a service called translation service like this. And it will have a function const translation service like this. It's going to be an arrow function that will return a function that will do the translation for me. And it will receive a key of a string and then it will return the translation but for now let me just return the key itself and this translation key is going to receive a language so i go with language code which can be of type probably en or fr because i want to support only them and it's better to define them somewhere let me define them type supported languages and then i can go with that and use that now what i'm going to do is to import those files those translation assets into this service instead so i import them and now in the this in this t function i'm going to grab the user's past key i'm going to return a translation from these files based on the user's input key so what i can do is to have something like a dictionary const locales like this and then en would be en locale fr would be fr locale and now in my t function i can go with this code from these locales and the user's input at the beginning of creating this translation service i'm going to return one of the keys that are in the in these files in this json files i get an error here because of the imports let me fix them now we are good almost yeah and as you can see it complains about the type of the this return value because now this local then language code if i take a look into its properties you can see it's only it already knows about the content of these json files it has home page as the first key but i'm sending string to this to this one like like here it means that it can be anything that uh, can be problematic from the typescript perspective but if for example change it to home page it won't complain anymore because the type of key is, is going to be always of type home page but of course we cannot go with this solution what i can do is to say that the type of key is going to be the type of keys in this locale files so i can go with key of type of locales now we are fine what i can do now is to consume them i have to grab this function name in, in inside my page i say translation service i import it then i have to send the language to that like this and it will complain about the language because this language can be anything but it's or, or only accepting these supported languages what i can do i can cast it to supported languages and since it's not imported, I will export that one. Export type supported languages. Now we're good. I will import it here. Because uh, I will make sure that I'm not passing any wrong information here. So I'm casting the language from to this translation service like this. As supported language. Now it will return a value that has a T function in, inside that. And this T function is useful when we want to call something and get the translation back. So I will go with T and then it will accept home page for sure. And what it will return is the object inside this home page, the entire object. For, for now, uh, we go with that. It's not the best solution, but I will fix it later. But for now, you can see that it, this function will return that object that consists of title, for example. Now I will see I'm getting some errors. Let me see. Cannot read properties of undefined because I'm passing wrong URL, wrong language code. If I go to FR, you can see it's working fine and if i go to en and we can see 
it translates it's, it's translating correctly and i can go with that solution for this one as well i can call the function and grab the description this time and you see this is home page english version and if i go to fr i go to french version now i'm going to enhance it a little for example if i go to the home page without any language code you can see i get 404 uh, what i can do is to redirect the users to one of those supported languages for example en or fr the best scenario is to get that preferred language from the request headers where users can choose based on their settings or their configurations in the browser and the best place that we can do so and redirect them to one of those urls if you remember it would be middlewares i have a middleware already here it is in the src folder it's simply a function that gets a request and it passes the users to the next handler i'm not modifying anything here but i'm going to do is if there's no language code in the requests i'm going to redirect that request to somewhere that has the language code first i will grab the language code from the headers get the language code from the users preference in the headers but before that i want to have something called supported languages not type but constant here const supported languages like this would be en and fr and now from these supported languages and its combination with the user's preferences i want to find the best matching language for users that we support find the best language for the users based on accept accept language header and supported languages and i'm writing this because i want copilot to fix that for me and you can see it's doing fine let's see what it, what it does first we are getting the language code and then from those language codes we get the user languages and if you remember the structure was like en us and we grab only the en part from that value and now that we have these user languages and with these supported languages we find the best language or the best match and i'm going to set some condition if there's no a language in the url in the request url then we have to redirect them otherwise if they have on, already selected for example i might go with that en or fr and there's no need to redirect users to somewhere because they have already selected their preferred language manually i don't go and i don't redirect them in that case so i will add a condition but before that let me change this request because i will need that now i will say that if the request does not have any language code in the path name we direct the users to the best match language okay i'm writing because of the copilot and i have to return a url like this okay now i will explain uh, this condition is not correct but i will change it but after fixing this you can see that i'm redirecting the users to the best language match possible that we support so i will fix this one because what, what i want if even if they go with something like something that we don't expect i want to redirect them to something that supports and in our case the first segment in the route should be always at the language code so here the first section is this one that we can grab it and we can say that if the supported language doesn't have that one then redirect them so let's try it i go to the home page and it's saying that invalid url let me see maybe something is wrong yes here we have to say that this part should be fixed okay first i have to send them to the best language code and then request origin without href and since it can be undefined i will go with the default language it can be the first possible supported language now we are good let's try to check it if i go if i zoom first you can see first i go with something like this and it's redirecting me to en if i don't have it it redirects me to en if i go to fr it's fine and we have this locale it's supported and so on and so forth you can see it's working fine as you expected now i would like to add some extra tips to this internationalization in xjs first of all of course you can have nested folders in this lang folder that i have created for example i've created news page and inside this new page you can have you can receive the language param again but as the second tip that i want to give you now is that uh, since i have created this translation service from scratch it, it will work for simple use cases of course but for more complicated structures especially in your json files you cannot use this service it's not going to work for example you, you might have parameters uh, like this 
I have news and then I want to pass something like count and this function is not accepting this but in some libraries you can call the t function with an extra parameter like this I can pass something doesn't matter the structure doesn't matter here and then I can pass some values as a second parameter for example the count comes from the translation news discount it's gonna it's like a token and the library will replace it for you I highly recommend if you want to this feature go with the libraries and uh, use them in your project I don't explain it here because it is out of the scope of this course and uh, we are not covering other libraries uh, and I'm following the documents from Nexus and the recommended way for them is to just using these kind of structures these files and use them in, in your project similar to what, what I've done here with this translation service so go ahead and use those um, services or libraries if you if you are in, a, in an enterprise and the project is definitely big enough also I forgot to add something uh, in the layout in the main or root layout you in the HTML you can see there's a language hard-coded to English and it should be changed as the user's preferred language so I put lang here and this thing you can get it from the params of course like this what I've done here so the layouts can receive the similar params as the as pages I can go go ahead and grab them like like this params and then something called params exactly similar concept so it should be async function and it will work as expected but I as I said I highly recommend to move this layout to language page and you have to fix some imports here I have to traverse one level more up to find these files it's gonna work now instead of hard coding in language I passing the language that users are or we support in this case en or fr so screen readers can identify the document language so they can use that language information for their users